Hi, uh, I'm here at Fewa, the museum for the trains in Guatemala City. These are the vestige of uh, the uh, Ferrocarriles de Guatemala, that's what Fem Fewa means. And it's uh, a company that used to run trains from here to the north and the south of the Republic. and. Uh, it hasn't been in service for like 20 years since the peace agreements. They have a bunch of old trains stationed here uh, so they can um, show it to the public. There are some tourist rides that cost like $10, $12 on the weekends for like about half an hour. And uh, as you can see, there's a lot of hardware here just saved uh, for uh, a keepsake for a memory and uh, this was a government company that became privatized and the private company uh, wasn't able to keep up with uh, costs uh, they didn't have labor as well so people weren't educated to take care of the trains they weren't train engineers uh, so basically they just stopped servicing the public uh, and uh, now they have this there, there has been several attempts to sell it uh, to international train companies especially from Mexico the US or South American but none of them have decided to take it up and because there's very little support in Guatemala for train companies there everybody's kind of like uh, we have a lot of cars so why would we need trains there's lots of roads uh, no road initiatives are important but uh, railroads aren't at the moment but uh, you know every modern co modern company co country has uh, trains so some people think there should be some kind of public transportation like trains. Hopefully one day it'll be restored or something new will be added, like a hyperloop or something. Have a great day. Bye.